Hello, everybody! It is Rocco, your boy, coming at you with another The Old World episode today. Um, hi, yeah, no, we're doing more of this because for Age of Sigmar, there is just a lot of waiting for the battle scroll. That is not happening, so when it comes to my training arc, I can't really train if I don't know that all my rules change, because then I'll do more training with the new rules and reinforce it. It's a, it's a mess. So instead, what we're going to be talking about here is a question that I was asked was, is there an easy way to build a list for the old world? And as a floating head right now, I can tell you, make sure it's good. Yes! My mic's there, so I'm just directly. Follow me, camera guy. So, yes, yeah, someone created this lovely, the oldworldbuilder.com, which is a list builder. Because normally, you would go, you'd have your book, pen and paper out on the side there, writing things out, and you're like, oh, this is rough. But this list builder is honestly awesome. And it has um, ads and partnerships. Because you know what? If someone isn't dropping models for all the new game system they just made, other people will fill the gaps. If you watched my review of uh, The Old World, which I'll have linked at the end of this video as well, that's my one real problem with it, because the game's really freaking cool. It's everything I remembered and loved and wished fantasy to be. But uh, we'll just we'll just hop right into this. So first things first, you click the list builder. Click Warhammer the Old World. If you look at this, you're like, huh, that's weird. It's probably eighth edition. The Old World. We're gonna go and say, Elves rule, Dawi drool. Two thousand points. You get to select your point limit. You go through here. You click on that. You get all your factions. We're going Wood Elf Realms, baby. And we create list. So, in the book for the like forces of fantasy and forces of ruin, when you go to make an army, it'll say the percentages of points you can spend up to and have list limitations in for making your lists. And this does a very good job of saying like things that I need. I need 500 points of core units. I also know for a Wood Elf army. I need to have at least one unit of Glade Guard. All right, they're just our basic archers. And boom. It's great. When they do the update for like the specialty armies, I'm sure we're probably going to get one that's just four spirits, maybe led by Drycha or one of the old name tree lords uh, from the Wildwood. That would be cool. Uh, we'll get variations. But until then, we have a very solid list. I can spend up to half my total points on characters. I can spend up to a quarter of my points in a 2,000 point list on rare units or allies. Uh, again, half my list can be specialty units. There's so many things we can get to to fill out our 2,000 points. Uh, so let's just start with like we need Blade Guard. You know, I and again everything is granular and modular here. In an old world list, you pay points for your different upgrades. Lord's Bowman is champion. That can be equipped with up to 25 points of magic items. Or if I wanted to click this, uh, my head's probably over it right now, but we actually get a whole list of all the different magic items that I could potentially take. Uh, which is really cool. And that'll be that breakdown for your heroes and everything else. Uh, for me, I know I... Currently, I'll, I will remake my current list here. And we've got a standard bear. We've got a musician. And these little eyeballs here to show descriptions will pop out what the rules are. Because this is just a labor of love and is amazing. It says the reference page is last updated. And the different rules that could be had from having a musician in your unit or the standard bear that can take up to so many points of the magic standard. And the different unit upgrades. I've been really liking the Swiss Shiver Shards, which give me extra shots. I really like the Arcane Bodkins. I like having a Vanguard movement thing. 
Maybe not fire and flee. We'll, we'll see what happens there. And we have for generic rules, move through cover and open order that I can click and a thing will pop out. All right. Uh, also, let's go with my characters too. I have a Glade Lord who is going to, with all the default weapons, we're going to have a shield. Um, come with a longbow. Gonna be on a great stag because life is great. And then we're going to just go quickly through here. Scroll down because it lists off first all the generic items. I know my head's kind of over it. But we also have a little description to like what is the enchanted shield. Which is so good for a list builder. It combines all the stuff people like about uh, for like AOS War Scroll Builder with I have what I need to make my list. And um, there are other list builders that are like, oh, I'm going to give you the war scroll. I'm going to give you all the buffs and things. This actually goes out and tells us what all the stuff is. So I don't have to have five books open to do this. But I do love my lovely wood elf, the Spear of Twilight. And with this Merkel's Locus. And I will say... Only the generic stuff has been updated to have the tooltip to see what the descriptions are. Uh, the people behind this have not yet done all the specific, uh, like, faction-specific magic items, which is totally fine. This is, again, this isn't beta. This is brand new. This is just crazy. And it's crazy to me that Games Workshop didn't make one of these themselves yet. But the short version is the Spirit Twilight always wounds on a 3-up. It has good rend and damage. And the uh, the locus I have here is that my elf and whoever is attacking them cannot modify their strength um, on their weapon attacks to try to wound me better. They have to use the baseline what they come with. What that means is a lot of... Uh, different magic items give like someone that's attacking like a plus one or plus two to their strength bonus if you have a higher strength and toughness you get to have a better to wound roll my idea with this combo is the spear always wounds on a three regardless i don't care what the strength of my elf is um and then i for forest bites which are a little extra add-on my i'm so blocking that and i'm sorry uh I don't honestly remember what I got. If I remember right, I had a resplendence of luminescence. And then I should be a lamentation of despairs or a befuddlement of mischiefs. Let me just pull up on my uh, thing here. Because again, army specific stuff, not updated. And that's okay. Um, a befuddlement of mischiefs, which is 30 points, which is right here, uh, where they, uh, the enemy unit, a single enemy unit that is in contact with my model suffers a minus one modifier to both its weapon skill and initiative characteristics. The idea is, uh, I'm going to put this hero with a unit of wild riders that get the counter charge ability, so when they're chosen to be charged against, I can roll, go out and charge headlong into the fray. Uh, when a unit counts as charging and does make a charge like that, they get bonuses to their initiative up to a maximum of, I believe, plus three. And the idea is elves normally are fast and have a high initiative bonus through different reasons. And I want to make sure that my elves that have paper skin and glass bones get to stab first. And the resplendence of luminescence is uh, the model and any unit that's joined it gains the magical attack special rule. This is a very nice thing that I could pick up with the idea that um, magic attacks get past certain types of saves. Which is very helpful. Uh, my second hero, I'll add another one, will be a Spell Weaver. I'm going to give Talismanic Tattoos, which give me a 6-up ward save to try to abate damage. Bump it up to a level 4 wizard. Keep him on foot. 
I'm going to go with the lore of elementalism. And again, another cool thing, we have a tool tip here that shows the lore of magic and goes, it gives us the flavor text, the signature spell, and also all of the, all of the spells here. Um, and my favorite out of this is uh, Plague of Rust, which is until the start of my next start of turn sub phase. And I will have a video eventually covering all the turns and stuff. I'm going to have a guest on for that, too. But long story short, for, for AOS terms, until my next hero phase, uh, my I pick an enemy unit. Uh, they're going to be minus two to their armor save. And it I can even pick a unit that's already in combat with my stuff, and I can go and plop that on. There are combos where you use that spell with uh, the Sisters of the Thorn. Because they have a cool ability with that. But, uh, again, we're, we're not going for that yet. But what we are going to do is looking at these forest bites. Um, we are going to give the, uh, the Blade of Terrors, which gives uh, this model and any unit it joins, the Terror Special Rule. Because they're going to go out and join... A unit of Eternal Guard who will be kitted out with Error Buddy. They're gonna get a magic banner, and you get the idea, so on and so forth. You're gonna give them shields, drilled, maybe veteran if I have the points. The idea is here they've got. Listen, I start off at light armor at a 6 up save, a shield gets them to a 5 up. I'm gonna go out and have. A block of 20 of these eternal guard it's gonna be a lot but they again they die pretty freaking easy if I can give them the advantage of hey you can't charge them because you're too scared I can pick the fight or if you do charge me I've got these extra things going on that could help me it'll be great and the spell weaver is actually gonna chill with the eternal guard giving them terror as a special rule, which is fantastic. Then we have um, a Glade Captain, who will be upgraded to a Battle Standard Bear. My Glade Lord, do I have you listed as my general? I guess it's just assumed. Which is great. Uh, Glade Captain, BSB, we're going to go and give you the... No. The Banner of Midsummer's Eve which uh, lets me ignore cover when it comes to shooting attacks, and that's gonna actually go with my Glade Guard. I could just give my Glade Guard a magic banner, but my idea is uh, Battle Standard Bears give you a plus one to your combat resolution. It's the score of at, at the end of when the unit fights, you try to see how many points uh, you win by. You compare models killed on either side, if you have a banner, a battle standard bear and you try to like buff them up a big unit of 20 glade guard is a big investment and if i could have them not run away and freak out and use the captain's better bravery and abilities as a battle standard bear to buff them not running away scared or to rally back after they've been defeated i think it's a good idea and also 20 of them shooting uh their special bows for being wood elves allow the back or half of the back rank to fire That'll be 15 shots, one of them being the captain, who will be reigning, uh, maybe 16 even if I do it a big line of two, be just raining hell down on my opponents with this. It's nice. Uh, we're going to have Arcane Vodkin, so we just have the same profile on foot. Might even give a shield for uh, trying to survive. And the, my last big unit here... I have more points to do, don't get me wrong. Wild Riders. It's either seven or eight of them. Where I will have the full command. They do have shields because that's how they're modeled. And I will give them a magic standard. Not on the hunter, magic standard. That is called, it's a Wood Elf specific one, it is called the 
Banner of the Wildwood. What that does is uh, the unit gains fear as a special rule. Again, trying to outnumber your opponent, you can you know scare them, make them run off easier. You can get different bonuses to fighting them. They don't charge you automatically if they get it in. They got to roll a leadership test to see if they can stay around. And the thing is, if your unit already has fear, like the Wild Riders do, they now produce terror, which is really helpful. And seeing this too, I'm at 1593 for points. I need, I have my core units covered. I still have points available for rare, special allies, and heroes still. But for me, I own Glade Riders. I say that lovingly. They are wonderful light cavalry for me, who are going to have swift shiver shards. They are going to be. Uh, gosh. Yeah, we'll give them that upgrade. Again, just, they're a harassing unit. I actually own eight, but I'm not using them all right now in this list. Then. We're going to go look at, I have a bunch of Dryads that we'll get, the upgraded for the Nymph. I believe I have like 14 in a unit. Okay. And we're seeing over here in the far left where my mouse is, we're at 1903 points out of 2000. And this is where, yeah, you could look and if I don't like an upgrade, maybe I don't need it. Maybe I do go down to like 12 Dryads so I can fit something else. Maybe something that could be cool is like a Branch Wraith. You know, you give them, it might be Illusion, but if we can here, Pillar of Fire, Arcane Urgency, Curse of Cowardly Flight, Oaken Shield, no. The spell I'm thinking of is, first we give it a great weapon, we go illusion for there's a wonderful spell that is a combat spell spectral doppelganger here we go where the enemy unit suffers 2d6 hits and the special rules for the caster and any weapon you carry apply the great weapon that's good ap that's just a lot of scary stuff I can come in here and you know you can just make this a very scary hero and to try to ensure that one thing you can do is um, get that combo off the branch wraith can and again this is why it's in beta can take artifacts. In fact, I will go to my book here, doing this live. So what I do for you wonderful viewers. Branch Wraith, options, and great weapon, level two, forest bites. Oh, you know what? doesn't say you can take a magical artifact. That's just how good this is. Forget me. You know what? Maybe we do bump you up to level 2. I know we're 2,000 points over, so you know what we do. We scroll down. I'm going to drop a dryad. Now I've got some points to go and mess around with. Nine points to go and look for some upgrade on somebody. And that's how you make a list for the old world. I'm not going to bore you with the hour I'm probably going to take to actually get more points. Uh, maybe I am. Who knows? But this is a very wonderful, and it'll be in the description of the video, website that allows you to make lists for Warhammer the Old World. And if you're wondering what the trial list was, I've only ever used this on my phone, so I didn't know how the format was going to be. And it's really useful. 
it's great on your phone and it's great on your PC. It's great for you. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you like this. Drop me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, be nice. Roll some dice. We'll catch you next time. Bye.